What's going on, fellas? Today I'm gonna to be sending one of my dragon oil burners to Uganda, or Kampla, Uganda. And I wanna make sure I take care of these guys because I, I have a feeling they're out in the middle of nowhere and they're not just gonna be able to run down to the nearest hardware store to get hose fittings and all of that. Um, I've been, this is a different burner than what I showed you the last time. Um, I've decided I wanted to give you something a little bit better and more reliable than the version I showed you. This device should need cleaned far less, and this nozzle puts out twice the energy of the other nozzle. And I noticed the specifications of the burner you guys are currently using had a minimum of 150 kilowatts. So today we're going to be running this de device and seeing what it can crank out. My fuel reservoir is only about 46 inches off the ground here This is the oil drum we'll be testing the higher up in the air that you raise this oil reservoir The more energy will be cranked out of the burner. So we're going to put this to the test today And I just wanted to Adjust the nozzle for you and get everything set up and I'm also providing you with these heat resistant tubes I'm not sure where you guys are setting this thing up and I didn't want you to be caught in a situation where you have anything melting um, because of your isolated location and I'm also going to be sending some different fittings that you can connect your air supply with and your fuel supply and I just want to um, mention to you that this bigger hose the larger valve is your oil or your fuel line I will put a label on that when it's in the box so that your staff understands exactly what they're hooking up to where and um, let's uh, get this show on the road this is a, a very powerful burner and this should work out perfect but I just want to mention one thing guys if you're burning waste oil oftentimes waste oil contains a lot of heavy metals like lead and things like that I know some oils have lead in them for a fact because I did an oil analysis recently so be careful if you're using waste oil that none of the fumes is allowed to touch any food product of any kind and you may even need to consider uh, where your flu gases are going you, you might want to check into that if you're going to be running this around people for long durations of time you might want to check your oil to be sure that you're not spewing out toxic amounts of lead Okay, Ivan, I have raised the level of the fuel reservoir to illustrate the difference in power between this height and this height. You're going to want your oil reservoir to be fairly high in the air. And also, the longer the hose, the more resistance to flow you're going to get. Because this is a siphon nozzle, it uses the vacuum generated by Bernini's principle to pull the fluid through the lines 
it um, it's not the, it doesn't have the same power irregardless of where you have it placed it's heavily influenced by such things as the size of the hose the length of the hose and the height of your fuel reservoir so you're going to want to keep as big of a hose as possible for the fuel line for that reason and we're going to elevate the fuel source and we'll observe the difference in output in relation to that modification
Okay, Ivan, I just run this burner through its paces to be sure that it's gonna stay lit and all that good stuff. One thing I can say, to get this thing to run at the 300 kilowatt that you quoted, you will need a fairly substantial air compressor. Um, possibly even an eight horsepower air compressor would be needed to give this thing enough air to run at very high efficiencies. Now it will run with the compressor that I've shown. Um, I wanna say one thing about the burner. It can run at these figures with this compressor, but it's not self-cleaning at those rates. Um, when it's running like this, it's in what I consider a self-cleaning mode where a lot of the buildup and stuff like that will burn off. It needs a lot of a higher air to fuel ratio to run like that. Um, I, my compressor does not provide enough air to run this burner at its full capacity, unfortunately, so that I could show you the cleaning capacity at those rates. Um, this figure that we saw, the max, um, it will run like that, but someone would have to clean the burner occasionally because buildup does take place under those circumstances. So if you run it in a lean burn, which is like this, then it will clean itself. All the carbon and things like that will burn off and just flake out. So hopefully you guys have a fairly good air compressor where you're at. It looks like you do. You're on a farm. So the more the better. Um, this thing should be able to produce far more than 300 kilowatt. It just depends on the air and the oil system you hook up to it. I've got these things to run up to 570 kilowatts on diesel. So these are the figures of oil usage in relation to your device. And I hope this works out for you. I'm gonna clean this thing back up and get it in a box and headed your direction, brother. Good luck to you. Marks here. The shadows cast. And you see that scratch? on both sides of this so that if this nozzle were to ever come loose or when you take it apart to clean it you'll know the exact angle to position the nozzle i'm also going to cut this off flush down here so that you know the exact height of where to put this when it's done Okay, these are the cold starting procedures. We're gonna start off by heating the chamber just a little bit and put a small amount of air into the unit. The system has been primed. You do have to turn it on full blast to get some oil spray. Okay, once you have an oil spray, we're gonna go with low air, a little bit of oil.
throw this bad boy in a box. I'm gonna get it cleaned up, of course. Just wanted to show you guys how to light this thing up. It's very easy to light. This is pure synthetic waste oil. If you have any waste vegetable oil, that's gonna do you far better. Um, this thing would perform far better on waste vegetable oil than it would waste motor oil, but nonetheless, it will burn anything you put in it. Don't use gas, it, it could create an explosive vapor cloud.